Just a little side note for those of you who have wondered, I am still working at the hospital. We have had several reprieves where they've extended the closing uh, and we continue to work. I've been working overtime the whole month to cover shifts for all the staff that have already left. Um, in my position, the techs, I believe it's three of them have left. There's the other units that were shut down and the staff have been laid off or positions terminated. And yet our, um, the ER and the mental health unit remains functioning. We were given an extension beyond the closing date. Uh, it was supposed to be January 1st. But then they thought it was gonna be two weeks after January and we made it all the way today is the 28th. But now they're thinking, people have been saying they think we'll probably shut down sometime in the first week of February due to lack of staff because people have been leaving and getting other jobs because they um, are in fear that the hospital is eventually going to be shut down entirely and they want to take advantage of job openings that they see at this current time. I, however, am still hanging on with some other people. Um, and like I said, I've been working overtime. In fact, today is my second day off. I did three, two, three, two, like the whole month. And now I'm about to go and do five 12 hour shifts in a row which I've never done and I'm sure I'm gonna be exhausted, but um, I'm doing it in an effort to help out my nurses that I work with and to still be able to render services to the community as long as the hospital stays open. But um, we don't know from day to day how much longer we have. And so that's why I'm working the overtime I can to try to put some money away for when I go on unemployment because I can't pay bills on unemployment. It's just not enough money. So that's where I stand with all that. And in the meantime, when I have time, I still work on stuff around the house. Finished that shelf and I'm working on a blanket still for uh, Cadence. And uh, I still have the chest to work on yet. That's a lot of sanding, which I don't like doing when the garage is all closed up like it is. So that's what's going on for now. I'm still working, still have a job. Uh, and of course, when and if they make the announcement that the hospital is finally closed, I will come back and let you guys know. But thanks for all the questions. Thanks for everybody uh, sending messages of concern and uh, well wishes. I appreciate it all. A friend of mine cuts down trees for a living and he brought me over a bunch of these slabs of wood, fresh cut, and I believe it was ash. He uh, used his mill to cut the planks and he brought a bunch over. And I said, what am I gonna do with this? And he's been waiting and waiting to see what I made with them. And in this case, my grandsons needed a bookshelf. And so that's the project that I've been working on. And I just finished the uh, day before yesterday.
And I've been wondering what happened to our friendly raccoons. And lo and behold, look who's back. And the usual cluster of birds at this time of the year.